Hello, my dear students. I hope you're doing fine at home. My name is Miss Camila, and today we're going to learn about second conditional. The objective is to identify use and form of a second conditional. So first of all, what is the second conditional? We use the second conditional to talk about things in the future that are not likely to happen, like dreams or wishes. As any conditional, we're going to start with the word if. Next, we're going to use the tense past simple. Next, but very important, the use of the comma. Next, the verb modal would. And finally, the infinitive verb. So in the second conditional, we have two main characteristics that form this second conditional. In the first case, we have the past simple, and next we have the modal verb would. In the case of the past simple, we know that in the positive sentence, verbs go in past simple tense. And also we know that in the negative and interrogative sentence, we use the auxiliary did. Also, if we use the auxiliary did, the verb must go in infinitive tense, not in the past simple tense. In the case of would, we know that it's a modal verb that indicates four main characteristics. The first one is that we use it for all pronouns the same. We don't change the spelling of the word depending on the pronoun. Next, it indicates a mode. In this case, indicates possibility. Next, we know that we don't use any other words to create the negative and interrogative sentence because modal verbs works as their own auxiliary. And finally, the verbs that follow that indicate, indicates the action goes in infinitive tense. So the second condition now, we're going to see here some examples. If I won a million dollars, I will buy a house. Si yo gano un millón de dólares, yo podría comprar una casa. As we know, we're going to start with the word if, that means si, posibilidad, in Spanish. Next, we have all this sentence that needs to go in the past simple tense. This is a positive sentence, therefore the verb one goes in past. Next, and very important, don't forget the comma because it is important to separate both sentences. And also, we can move these sentences because of the comma. And finally, we have a sentence with the modal verb would and it's followed by an infinitive verb, in this case, by. Here is the activity. Complete the sentences using second conditional. Write everything in your copybook. Send the activity to our email, english.cmhn at gmail.com with your name and grade. If you have any questions about the activity or the contents, remember that you can send us an email and we will answer you as soon as possible. So here is the activity. In the case of the conditionals, we only are going to work with positive and negative sentences. So you need to be careful and when you see the word not, means that that part of the sentence is negative. Also, all the things that are in parentheses are verbs, and you need to see if you change it in past simple or if you have to use the modal verb would. Take care and stay safe. Bye.